So my friends, the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft is almost upon us and every content creator in the space, big and small, feel that, you know, the need to talk to their community and uh, tell them how they feel about it. I feel great about it. I think that this is probably, this upcoming event is the reason I'm not unsubscribing right now. Let's call it for what, for what it is straight away. And today I thought I'll entertain you without a coffee, but you can get one. Um, with my thoughts on exactly what's on offer, exactly what's coming, because they're throwing quite a few things at us, because some of these things I think are great that are coming, some of them I think are very meh. 20th anniversary celebration update goes live October 22nd, uh, 2024, and it stays active until January the 6th next year, which makes it a rather long event, which is fantastic. It will be going for two and a half months. So first of all, even if uh, you're level 10 and you're just a beginner of World of Warcraft, you still can enjoy this, which is fantastic. I think inclusivity into this kind of event is very, very important. I say this is a tick. You, it's not just high-level characters. Yeah, so that's great. New currency is a good thing and a tick because whatever you're going to be collecting during this event, which is the main reason why people would be there, to commemorate this event, to have something to remember it by, I think they have learned from Mists of Pandaria Remix where everything cost bronze and bronze was earned from everything. I would be pragmatic here and I would say as much as nostalgia is playing a big role in our, in our game and in our lives generally, I think being nostalgic is important. It is creating an emotional collect connection to experiences. Uh, I still am pragmatic about it. I think that it is important to be rewarded. Main question here, my friends, is big in block letters rewards which are remaining to be seen obviously so uh, what is the eye level so first of all this will give us a lot of cosmetics and we will talk about the cosmetic rewards for this whole event but this particular event of black rock depths rewards that are tangible that you can put them on and that are boosting the uh, boosting the power of your character this is how we get rewarded for our time, mostly, well, a lot of us are anyway, in World of Warcraft, by design, in this theme park. So, if this thing gives some meh item levels, like 450, 467, you know, something like this, then this is going to be a meh. If, if, however, so that's one thing, but if it's going to be, say, 480 plus, aka LFR, current LFR, raid level and up then it's a big yes tier 2 armor appearance sets before i keep talking about this guess why are they starting with the paladin set guess why guess why why are they showing it to us first number one why why are they doing it well i will answer the question for you because i don't hear your voice unfortunately until you talk to me in the comments because paladin said this set is a famous set of paladins in World of Warcraft forever, forever to come. If you're a paladin, you have to have this set. So I think, if for no other reason, as a paladin main, I'm going to do this, I'm going to get this set. There are some, definitely other very decent sets. In my humble opinion, it's probably the warrior. Warrior set with those axes is, is just iconic, it's just fantastic. And I also subjectively, we're not going to zoom in on it, I think subjectively they've done a pretty good job of creating a new set, which obviously didn't exist back then, for monks. So I think this set also looks kick-ass. But uh, some could argue that maybe Warlock, maybe, but I'd say iconic, full-on, it's definitely Warrior and definitely Paladin. That's why Paladin is big here. Time walking through the classics. So they basically are doing time walking dungeons event, except not through the typical set of dungeons, I understand, but through things that do not go normally into the time walking events, such as Dead Mines, Zulfarak, even Dire Mall, which is uh, a bit meh, but Dead Mines and Zulfarak, definitely awesome. Would be great to revisit Strathholm. I have done it too much farming for something Riven Death Horse or something else back in the day, if it tells you anything. Because if you're a veteran like me, it would tell you something. So, good. That's good. That's good, mate. That's good. That's good. Very, very happy about this. You can tell that I'm excited, but I'm not going to pull any punches on meh stuff either. So, making no apologies for that. There are a few items that you can find also on Time Walking Vendors, which is great. So, Spell Weave Carpet. I never wanted to fly on a carpet, otherwise I would be a mage main, which I'm not. Amani Hunting Bear is amazing. Looks tremendous, but it doesn't fly. And in the modern world that is not the old world, 
it kind of makes that mount immediately obsolete. Immediately obsolete, which is sad. And on the other hand, Frey Feather Hippogriff is a flying mount, except in my humble opinion, Hippogriffs are probably the worst bird slash flying mount. Never had any appeal, appeal for me, even in the previous expansions. I'm not even talking right now when we're spoiled for choice. Even back then, I didn't want to fly on a Hippogriff. You tell me if you did. I don't care about this, about this stuff. This is a mare. This is a mare. All of it. Yeah. Okay. New mount. Service award. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, this mount, first of all, this mount subjectively, let, let's just look at the mount. Subjectively, this mount is a mare. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use it. So, that's, that's a no from me. From me. Don't get offended if you love it. Just talk to me, okay? Balloon. Okay, it's cute, but I would never use it. So, it's a mare. And what else? And then the Doom Lord pets. Little Kaz and little Doomy. Well, I guess it's okay. I'm going to give them ticks, except I'm not a pet battler and I'm not a pet collector. All of these for a limited time. You also can get these anniversary items with bronze celebration tokens. That's totally far cry to the Mists of Pandaria remix. Great, great. Well done. Core Hound, Obsidian Warbreaker, Little Nefarian, Morton Corgi, Corgi Ab uh, Anixian Whelping, Hate Spark, and Baby Blizzard Bear. I have all of them. Me personally, but I've been playing a game for a very long time, 20 years. This is a celebration of them, it's a celebration of me. So you might be excited about it. I kind of don't care about any of this, okay? Now, celebration in the Caverns of Time. It's just like a little little Dark Moon Fair, okay? With a lot of different kind of stages and other kind of stuff. Disguise yourself as your pet. Sounds, sounds funny, sounds cute. I probably will pop in just like I did at first to Dark Moon Fair. But guess what? If this was my cup of tea in terms of entertainment, then I would be hanging out at Duckmon Fair more regularly, wouldn't I? I don't, okay? I don't even do it for experience buff. So, some of you might be excited about this. This is definitely a mare for me. However, having said that, it's just me being honest, but I think they had to do something like this. There has to be a central uniting location where the event is taking place in the virtual world. And they're doing it, so I compliment them this is not a bash it's just me personally i'm not interested in this new world bosses yes please and you know what i'm gonna say you know you know what i'm gonna say new world bosses i killed them many times enough but i have also armies of alts that look for a reason to log in into the game and do something quick and rewarding quick and rewarding quick and rewarding yeah like a world boss right now or across you know the aisles where we are there um so i level and please loot, 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 loot. So that's what makes these things either, that's what these things live and die by. So why would I kill this thing if it gives 450? Why would I kill it even if it gives 480? Why would I give it? Uh, so this thing has to, this thing has to give 600 plus. Because that's how much world boss gives right now. If this thing doesn't give 600 eye level plus, it's a complete meh. Tell me if I'm wrong, as in I can't be wrong, it's just my opinion, but tell me your opinion on this. That's what I think, though. Codex of Chromi. Okay, so this is where you may need to either fast forward or just clench your teeth a little bit. I won't be long. I don't like Chromi. I think she is... World of Warcraft has always been goofy, but she is one of those manifestations that make it even more goofy, even more, I'm going to use the harsher term and say stupid. It, this is where it crosses into stupid. You have to be really whimsical and really into that kind of stuff to uh, entertain, be entertained by that kind of stupid looking, whimsical, too much, too much sugar, too much cuteness, too much of this babying content. Please don't take it personally. This is just me expressing my humble opinion. It's a private tribune. That's how I feel. Please tell me if I'm wrong and you have the best time there. And I wish you best of luck with Chromie. I personally am not even interested to see. And before you try to trick me and say, Gyro, but what if she gives you 600 loot? Yeah. What then? And me being an honest host here that always welcomes you on my channel. I'm going to say to you that if she gives 600 loot... I'm going to say it's the best event ever and won't even blink, won't even cringe, won't even blush. <laughs> That's how I say. Give me good loot and I will forgive it to you, Chromie, even though you're whimsical and I don't like you. Mm, whatever. 
Help wanted at guest relations. This is the biggest mayor of all time. This is an extension of the event. Who would waste their livelihood and time in the game, outside of the game, to do something like this? Who? Maybe I'm again missing it. And don't even go to the item level 600 loot right now, my friend, because the answer is always going to be yes. Plus, plus, the only thing I'm going to say that Dry and I are always a love hat from me. They always look great, in my opinion. Korok's Revenge, that is when we are uh, we are in Alterac Valley style battleground, inspired by the latest days of Alterac Valley. It's a large scale battleground with PvE elements. I don't PvP primarily, but when one big horde, another big horde, and we try to kill a big boss and this kind of stuff, I might. So this is a question mark for me, and, the, and I'm, I'm going to say I might participate in this. I'm not going to bash this. But I'm not going to praise it too much because it is what it is. Trading post. Listen, we go to trading post for free stuff. I do as well occasionally. But I wouldn't stay subscribed for this. And if it's just a freebie added to the rest of it, okay. But would I spend three minutes thinking about this and getting this necessarily thing or this necessarily thing to carry on my back? I guess the longer I look at it, the less I mind it. But would I specifically kind of look forward to it? No, I personally wouldn't. You can Drakthea expanding to other classes, more variety, always better, always a good thing. My only problem with this is this. They have added Drakthea recently, last, more, like it's a last added class and race. I don't understand why are we adding new Drakthea to the new, sorry, we're giving Drakthea new classes while we have already classes that want to be other races, such as Demon Hunters. Demon Hunters have been long enough among us to train us, Dre and I, to be Demon Hunters. Yeah, maybe some of us would like to burn our eyes out. Don't try it at home, kids. But there is a cosmetic option to actually be a Demon Hunter, full-on Demon Hunter, without a blindfold and with, and with eyes being there. They're just magically empowered to glow. So don't even go there with me, okay? So I could be an eyes-glowing Dre and I without a cosmetic option of being blind. I don't care. Okay, but anyway, my point is that I would sooner want to be a dry and I demon hunter tank, vengeance demon hunter, than this, me personally. However, being a dry and I, uh, sorry, dry and I, being a Drakthea warrior, yeah, that would be my first number two, number one thing that I would go for. I would go for that. Hunters, <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. Maybe. It's a maybe from me. Okay. <laughs> Flying information is cute. Uh, is it a feature? No, <laughs> but it's cute. It's it's cool. It's it's awesome. New shaman ascendance forms a final thing of worthy of note here. So we're almost at the end, my friend. Thank you very much. In case you're still watching this, uh, you're very special to me. I think it's a great looking form in different things. Fire one kicks ass. It's they look awesome, but at the same time, I would have loved for shaman to be able to stay in these forms, if not permanently, then longer. And in fact, I don't see why a shaman who is dedicated to this craft of being a fire-based shaman... Ah, oh, I guess there was too much scribbling. Page is unresponsive now. Please bear with me for a bit longer. But I do not understand why the shaman cannot be in this form almost all the time. Or at the very least, as often as, let's say, Demon Hunter, who pretty constantly, with right talents, is shape-shifting into this. I don't think that this ascendancy form, even right now, procs as often as it could and this is such an awesome form if i was playing a shaman i'd want to look like that more often than not and that's it that's it that's all there is there is to the uh, to the upcoming 20th anniversary of world of warcraft what do i think i think i'm very excited i think i'm very excited overall i hope it came across loud and clear i hope so are you please let me know what you're excited about maybe some things that i am a little bit kind of not paying much attention to maybe they're worth our while this has been a long video. If you watched all of it, you are very, very, very special. If you fast forwarded, I really appreciate you being here anyway. So please like the video before you drop out. Tell me in the comments down below what do you look forward to the most. And I see you at the anniversary.